gentlemen, welcome over here to the Descar Phillips Cup Series. I have to adjust it like Welcome to the Descar Phillips Cup Series Season 7 2014 here on RTL 7. We are here for race number 12 of the season, and it is actually another place as where um, it was planned. As you will know, we sh um, well we were going to go to um, Eldora Speedway for the Lucas Oil 500, which would have heat races plus a last chance qualifying, and then the main race. Um, and that because there weren't uh, well, the track would not feature 42 cars. However, I experienced some trouble with the track. Uh, game kept crashing. There were some issues with uh, suddenly the leader being a lap down or something. I'm not sure what. Um, so, the result is that we have said, well, we will not go to Eldora. Maybe we will some other time, but not now. And, well, in the Phillips Cup series, I'm not sure. But, um, therefore, we needed a replacement track. It took a little bit longer, so sorry about that. That's the reason why you haven't seen a race in a well, fairly long while. And this is only the third uh, Phillips Cup Series race actually we've done since the summer break so uh, okay the fact is we are now at the racetrack which also had a shell during a series race called Gorilla Snot I'm not sure if you know the track it is a weird name it is a cool cr track it is a crazy track um, exciting so I'm pretty sure we're going to see a great race nonetheless uh, however it will not be with heat races and last chance qualifying Partly because we don't have time for that and because this track will just feature 42 cars. So uh, we're just going to have this race with 42 cars on the grid. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I will take you through uh, some things because... Uh, then, well, I'm not sure actually. Uh, we got a new paint scheme for Sander Corto over here. Uh, there's number 12 car of um, Alex Smith. He is your uh, winner from... Um, the all-star race, I will just do it like this because we don't... We have Saya Asumi once again in the 5 car. And right next to her is the 31 car of Momo Ikari. So uh, Momo Ikari went to the 31 because Sandra Renshi is gone and Saya Asumi is back in the 5 car. Um, damn it, I still forgot to change the number 82 car. It should have been a Linkin Park car because we're going to Linkin Park concert soon. Okay, that will we will switch that around some time later. So, uh, Linkin Park concert is the 7th of November, so... Uh, let's see. Jason Sinclair is number 23 car. Second time he's going to drive this car. The, um, well, Holden factory racing based scheme. Although this is a Su Suzuki and not a Holden, obviously. So, yeah. That's Jason Sinclair. Great scheme, though, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, there were a couple of cars which I have to mention. And, well, one of them is um, a new paint scheme for Joseph Vanessa over here. And take a look at the scheme. We're going to go to this camera view. This is a chrome scheme with some black and orange. And on the hood you can see Top Notch Designs 100. That 100 is because Top Notch Designs the Facebook page has reached 100 likes. So congratulations to Top Notch Racing and Top Notch Design on Get That Master. Of course, Joseph Ernesto's own site. And it's I gotta say, it is a fantastic site. Mo a lot of stuff which I use for uh, my cars actually come from top notch racing so or top notch design so there's a big thank you on the car this is an alpha um, top notch racing top notch design congratulations to Joseph Nesto uh, another car which we have to show you is this number number 60, uh, 67 car Debbie Myers her performances have been great lately and uh, she has attracted the attention of a new sponsor that sponsor is Martini yes indeed this shoot would or this was the number 14 car so Martini is now on the uh, oh damn it's now on the hood and the rear and the car of Debbie Myers in the number 67 car um, also uh, something which will happen uh, with the next replacement science is that we uh, allow everybody to, if you want to get one more scheme which is not used yet. There are a co I've been painting a lot of cars lately, and um, actually I've just finished uh, a ne new BMW M4 template. So if you want to see it, take a look on the Facebook page. That car will be used for um, Mom for Makoto Gucci. Although the problem is that she or that the Eric and Rage doesn't have the PSD files from. 
the his car the cars he paints so we will we will find a solution for that maybe i will even paint those car repaint those cars um that's one thing and also um jackie tang is driving the bmw the P bmws for piat motorsports in the utica home track series have been updated i haven't sent them yet i will st i still want to take one more closer look at it if i haven't forgotten anything so um, expect 95 Robert Piat, 96 on the course, and 97 Debbie Myers to have some new BMW templates on them. And Debbie Myers also having some new sponsorship. The LG sponsorship is gone, and now uh, there will be a uh, what was it, Mudmut car and a Falcon Sire car. So for Debbie Myers, that is Sonicor still in the Golf and Robert Piat still in the Phillips car. So we got Debbie Myers over here in the number 67. Um, we got the number. 77 car of Denise Steinauer. She is back again, still singing in points somehow, <laughs> but she is back again behind the wheel of this number 77 golf machine. Um, she has missed one race, which was the all star race, so that's a shame for her uh, due to an injury. But she has been uh, all right again to race for well 10 days, so that's how that's how long we haven't done a race yet. So, uh, Denise Steinauer back in the 77 car, singing in points, so very good for her. And I'm not sure if... I don't think we have any other news. Daniel Voyles, of course, in his new Audi template. We also have a new Audi template. And here it is. Daniel Voyles is now driving that new Audi RS5. And this car will... This Audi template will be replaced. The other, the older template. It is not really a big difference. You might not even see it. But I can assure you... Uh, this template is made 100% by myself. And the other one was not. I just copied and pasted those parts on this template. So... But this thing, 100% made by me, cut all parts will be more 100% cut out by me and paste it on the car, line them up. And therefore, we have a new Audi template for Daniel Voiles. And we also have some new schemes. Laptop crashing. We also have some new schemes, which is... Um, uh, what was it? I'm not, I forgot the numbers. But we have a new Hankook scheme. We have a DHL scheme. Although that might be becoming a BMW soon. Okay. And we have a Jägermeister scheme, which will probably become a BMW too. Well, one of them will <laughs> become a BMW and the other one will rem remain Audi. I'm not sure what. So, um, yeah, I think that is it. Yeah. yeah. So, we'll move on to our pole sitter. I forgot who the pole sitter is. I n at least know that the 12 cars on the outside pole. So, ah, Nick Duncan also got to mention... Damn. Oh yeah, we got Ray Tacker, the number 8 car, in the points lead. And she, I gotta say, she has a points lead of 374 po points. And that is 60 points over second place, Denise Steinauer. Betty Johnson is in third position. Diana Vasquez in fourth. And jo or Andrew Robinson is in fifth. Then we got sixth, Jane Pinter. Seventh, Joshua Michaels. Eighth, Chris Washer. Ninth, Nicole Trenwich. And tenth, Anna Gregg. I gotta say... I, uh, um, not, I'm not 100% sure if I already um, updated this with the all-star results. Actually, I not, don't think so. So this is a little bit mm, different. So um, that will change after this race. If I haven't done that, I will change it after this race. So don't worry about that. Um, if you got bonus points in the all-star event, you will get them right after this race. So, Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get racing. Gorillas not. There are some more things which I want to say because I haven't been I have been away for quite a while in the, with the Phillips Cup series, but that will all come later. Um, I want to say if this race is boring, but this race is not going to be boring. I can assure you that. Uh, however, the start is going to be a little bit weird. You can see already the cars are not really lining up nicely next to each other, and that will not happen too. Pace car is on pit road, however, ladies and gentlemen, we got the 70 car in the lead and we're green flag racing and that was actually a pretty nice start over here. Nick Duncan and Alex Smith all the way in the brown stuff on the outside, you don't want to get there. If you get too high, you will spin out. There he is, already falling back a little bit. Still got Nick Duncan in the lead. We got second position over here. Sonic Course, the number 51 corner. Brand new Michael Kors skin. This is the first time Michael Kors has been sponsoring her for a points winning race. Of course, they also sponsored her in the uh, other, in the uh, All-Star race. Or, well, the showdown at least. Um, 
but the thing is, she has now two schemes with Michael Kors as sponsorship, simply because we, well, we pretty much couldn't choose which one was the better one. The, either with uh, over here you have the white and the gold, and the other scheme is that both switched around, so we couldn't really choose. So, but in the lead now we have Diana Vasquez in the 09 car. Indeed, that is fourth place in points, and she is the one who won. Um, your all-star uh, showdown and here's the is no not teammate Joshua Michaels coming by uh, suddenly this chaos motorsports RGE racing I think it is nowadays and Pony Motorsports they have had some great runs over here with Diana Vasquez um, Joshua Michaels is top 10 in points Jane, P Jane Pinter is top 10 in points Haruka Takeda made it into the all-star race and here we got Anna Gregg in the 18 car, but it's still Joshua Michaels in the lead. Let's take a look further back. Here we got the 72 car of John Cittadino, your Utica Home Track Series president. Also race for that Utica Home Track Series coming soon. I'm not sure when, but it will come soon, I expect. And he also made it into the All-Star race with a fan vote. And yes, he flipped over in that race. So um, not really the race he wanted. Um, however, still a great result for him. I'm sure he, he finished with the car that flipped over. And I think the caution is indeed out. And everybody is on the caution. The pace car is going to pull out now. So this might be a little bit messy. Um, normally this will play out at this race track. Although you see everybody scrambled over here. Um, some damage on the 76 car of Justin Yee we see. Uh, I think this 5 car has some rear end damage as well. Uh, Nicole Tranovich may have some front end damage. And Ingela Muliana and Norty Smiths have a lot of damage. Also, Alex Smith in the number 12 car after his great win at the, in the All-Star race. Justin or uh, Jason Sinclair. So that's two of the Sinclair cars. Sinclair family racing, I think the team name is. So, and also Paul Sutter, 70 car of Nick Duncan involved. So ladies and gentlemen, we've had a big incident over here. We're going to take a look what happened over here. We see the 18 car of Anna Gregg is in the lead. And she's going to pit. Okay, so she's going to pit. I'm not sure if this is a planned pit stop, actually. North Smith is also on pit road. And here we see some other cars pitting, but they have damage, so... I'm not sure if this is planned or not, but we will see. Uh, we see some more cars on pit road. Maybe we are going to have pit stops. We have never done this race before, so... Ladies and gentlemen, it's a 60 lap race, so 300... K... 300 miles it is. Oh, damn it, laptop. But the thing is, it is a... Um, I, I forgot to say what I say. I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh, I gotta um, shoot! I gotta say, I uh, totally forgot. I only have eight gigabytes of free space on my laptop, so I will have to remove something very quickly. That will be all right, ladies and gentlemen. Se Seventy-two car is in the lead over here. John C. Dino will be right back with the replays of caution number one. So, ladies and gentlemen, I cleared up some space. I removed 17 gigabytes. I always save every... I've got to admit, I'm a terrible guy if it comes to uh, saving stuff. I um, still save every single audio file um, of which I record with these races with. I still um, or save every single video file. I still have the files from the Philips Cup Series Season 3. I can't say that. I will remove them soon. I'll probably... Oh, actually, I think I have already deleted those. So, um, so everything I can re record now for 21 hours. So that's clean. And I think that Audacity now is going to light me a little bit more. So, Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look what happened over here. As there was some... You could, there you could see over here. I hope it's not going to affect this thing. I should remind me that I will not click on that. So Alex Smith in the number 12 car. Um, he's going to cause everything over here even. Uh, outside pole sitter, he's going to run a little bit high and into the 23 car of uh, Jason Sinclair, and they will go both into the wall, and this will cause a pretty big mess. Cars go up in the air. Here comes the 70 car of Nick Duncan. Nowhere to go for him. He will run straight into Alex Smith. There comes the 8 car of Ray Takeda, slowing him way down. The 31 car comes in. There comes Jordan Culp. He is out of the race, probably. Uh, we see Daniel Voyles, we see the 76 car, we see the 43 car, North Smith runs into everything, so there's the 5 and the 17 car running into each other, 
So there, yeah, a lot of cars spinning around. Zach Sasser, I think, may have been involved in this as well. So then you think, oh, okay. So big, big break, big, big crash. So nothing happened over here. So now we'll move a little bit further back. We see over here the eight car, the 08 car of Rook Attack, and they're going to let, get a little bit loose. There, the 39 car gets turned around by Norty Smith. Annie Thomas goes into the wall, goes up on, in the air a little bit. Bessonese and Haruka Takeda run into the wall. Well, at least Haruka Takeda does. I think even all by herself. Look at this. Whoops. Oh, damn. Boom. And that's how tricky this racetrack is. And then everybody continues their way. So we'll take a little. Well, well, one more look over here. Full speed. With our spectator cam. cam. There we go. A pretty big mess over here. Two cars gained together and everybody behind are trying to miss it. Well, Daniel Voigt gotta say. And those other guys, Saya, Sumi and Nicole Tronovich, they came flying by on the high side. That is just no way. They're the 08 car, even a Ruka Teke that does that. For some reason, Norty Smith and... Um, who, who was that? Um, and Thomas got together. So there we see Daniel Voigt making a pit stop. His Audi is pretty much junk. So that's a bad race for his new debuting Audi. Let's take some onboard looks. Well, you know what? Let's go onboard with this Audi. <laughs> oh, that's not onboard. That's not even close to onboard. There we go. So Daniel Voyle see crash happening right in front of them. We'll go onboard with Alex Smith in a few moments. Boom. Yeah, not really useful. Oh, then he gets turned by somebody. I'm not sure who. But so, ah, awesome timing. This for once I have a good timing. Here we go, Alex, Alex Smith on board. A little bit too wide and right into the Mobile One SP Tools Suzuki, which is Suzuki. By the way, will also not be back next season unless there will be a new Suzuki, which I highly doubt. We're now using a Suzuki Kasashi, not made by me, and I only want templates made by me uh, for next season. So. Anna Gregg was in the lead, but she's going to make a pit stop that will hand the lead to John Cedino. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take you now to the green flag once again. Jesus Christ, did I get a heart attack a few moments ago. I pressed on um, full screen, I wanted to go ready to race, and suddenly out of nowhere, oh no, I pressed on accelerate, and then... For some reason, it went to the HP thing, which the, the little pop-up you saw that came right in the middle of the screen. Computer, or it fell off out of the game, but luckily, we say it's race was still safe, and now we can continue. But John Cedino in the lead, second we got Joshua Michaels, third Denise Steinauer, fourth we got Beth Black, fifth Sonic Course, sixth Zachary Robinson, seventh we got Diana Vasquez, eighth we got Chris Washer, ninth Sean Howell, and tenth we got the 69 car. Of Kelly Waters, so the green flag is out. There's a one lap car and an 85 car. For some reason, she's a lap down. Here, see some cars which are out to race. Daniel Voyles in his brand new Audi is out. Outie. <laughs> Bad word pun. Uh, four car Jordan Culp is out. Also, the 70 car and the 12 car, I think, are out of this race. And the other ones, I'm not sure. Oh, they're going to pull on pit road. A good move. <laughs> oh, Alex Smith, by the way, is also still on pit road. Okay. Debbie Myers made a pit stop. So we, I think we have had some very interesting things over here. John C. Dino gets run way wide by Denise Steinauer. And now it is Beth Black in the number 41 car in the lead. Here we got Alex Smith coming up on the racetrack again. Hopefully he's not going to cause too big of an issue. Oh, there he is. There's lap traffic right in front of you. We got Denise Steinauer now in the lead with teammates on the course right behind her. But there goes on the course. Oh, oh, lost him. There we go. And indeed, we have Alex Smith right in front of them. There are more lap cars coming on the racetrack again. So suddenly, lap cars are coming from everywhere. Drivers are saying, where do those lap cars come from? There's another one, Justin Yi, with a damaged front end. But at least he's alright. He is still racing. So we'll skim through the field over here quickly. There's another lap car, the number one car. Debbie Myers is on pit road. For some reason, I still don't know why some drivers are on pit road. I mean, I, there wasn't any damage on that car, I think. So... There's Anna Gregg in the 18 car. And here we got some left cars. And suddenly it is Chris Washer in the 06 car in the lead. And left cars are pretty much everywhere around him. 
well, behind them now. That's a good thing. So Sonic Horse, um, Andrew Robinson, Debbie and Denise Steinauer, there, John C. Dino on the low side. He will have the advantage. I think Sonic Horse will be held up a lot if she stays up high, just like Andrew Robinson. That's why Denise Steinauer is pulling down low. Here comes... Oh, that's close. Very, very close for John C. Dino. But they save again. Chris Washer is once again passed by those last, those last cars. Man, these last cars are making a mess of it. John C. Dino, Chris, Wa Chris Washer will not be happy with that. And now he runs into a lap car. He will be frustrated as crazy. I, I have a feeling he's already very frustrated. Brand new Mercedes. Oh, Denise Steiner slides almost into the 72 car. And the 8th car is now in the lead. Ray Takeda, your points leader with 60 points over Denise Steiner. But she goes way wide as well. And here you go. The 72 and 77 down low. Still that car, still car spitting. That'd be Myers joining the field again. So, <laughs> weird race. Really, really weird race. Well, it's fun to see. And there we got... I mean, like, these left cars are sometimes even... Are just as fast as the leaders or even faster as the leaders. Denise Steinauer is now in the lead. She, there is no way she's coming by that 18 car. Well, there, Debbie Myers, she's a teammate, so I'm thinking... That she should. Ooh, and Greg runs into the wall and Ray Tekka spins around. Your points leader gets struck. Around and around goes Ray Tekka right in the middle of the racetrack. Pulls down low, luckily. Big crash. Well, not too big of a crash. Sonic Course, however, is out of this thing. So that's a heartbreaker for that Michael Course car. More cars spinning around. Bob Jones has some damage now. I turn off the smoke. Luckily this time, I mean like I turn it off, I turn the smoke back on again and then one la one race later we're going on the dirt again, so not really useful, but Whew. Well, everybody can breathe again for a while. The Nisa Steinauer in the number 77 car, she is still in the lead. John Dina right behind there. Anna Gregg is a lap down, this car is a lap down, so then in third position we got the 95 car and the rest of the top 10 you will see it in a few moments. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look. At the replays, Ray Tackett, your points leader spinning around. My, 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 where have we... I, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been watching NASCAR uh, for a few months, actually, I think. But this... I did hear something about Joey Logano, I think, getting wrecked by a lapped car. <laughs> Believe it or not, Ray Tackett will get lapped... Lapped by a wrecked car, yeah. Wrecked by a lapped car. You see over here, Jules Limonard on the low side. She will slide up the racetrack and straight into Ray Takeda. Wow. Ray Takeda getting hit by a lapped car, taken out. She is not going to be happy with that. And, well, one thing for her, <coughs> there will not be a penalty for Jules Limonard. Their son, of course, comes straight into it. Chris Washer runs into her then. But, um... You'll slip in the art, there will be a big chance she's not coming back after race number 14. So she, this might be one of her last races. So, and that's simply because, well, she's out of our lives. So she doesn't deserve to drive anymore. Hasn't commented or anything, so. Spoken, not, e not even spoken to me, so. However, Ray Tackett, that doesn't help her too much on for this race because, well, that's a bad break for her. Let's take a look at this because... There were some is some further issues as well over here. I'm not sure who was all in what it was, but I have a feeling. Oh, there we go. So Bob Jones in number 52 car gets wrecked by the 62 car. Gotta say, by the way, uh, Zach Sasser has been put on probation for I'm not sure how long, one or two races I think it was. Um, but that is in the Golf Super Speedway series, so not in this race. Um, but this will will not be any problems. There will be a new Volkswagen template coming soon as well. So Bob Jones in the 52 car. That is. So, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, fairly small incident, but with big names. So, the Nisa Steinauer in the 77 car is in the lead. We'll take you back to the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. We got the Nisa Steinauer in the lead. Second position is the 72 car of John C. Dino. Third, we got the 95 car of Andrew Robinson. Fourth, we got the um, 09 car of Diana Vasquez. Then fifth is the 69 car of Kelly Waters. Sixth, we got Beth Black. Seventh, we got John, uh, Sean Howell. 
Eighth, I think, is the 31 car. That was the pace car, by the way, you heard. Maybe not even, but... 31 car of Momo Ikari. I keep saying Kassan Renzi, probably, so... Ninth, we got the 24 car with damage, Kate Skirvin, and 10th position is Joshua Michael, so... Look at all those left cars. That's insane. Nobody out of the race. However, some drivers are making pit stops. Yeah. This race might be a strategy kind of race. I'm not sure if everybody has to make a pit stop or not. Here you can see drivers which are out of the race for sure. Um, actually, not even for sure. I have no clue who is all out of the race. <laughs> so, the thing is, we got a battle for the lead over here. Denise Steinauer is getting passed by all left cars. But that's not really a big problem as long as she keeps it up front over here. In front of that 72 car. But I'm not sure how far how long that is going to work. We see her go way wide, almost into the wall. Here we got left car Debbie Myers on the inside as well somewhere. And it's on the course, and the caution may be out once again. Caution may be out once again. Caution is out once again. Jason Sinclair involved, and the 43 car as well. as Betty Johnson. So, your leader is John Cittadino. There we go. And these guys, they, some of them might be getting their lap back. Some of them might be pitting again, so... I'm not sure. Here see this whole big mess, so... We're going to go to uh, replay quickly what happened over here. The 72 car of John Cittadino is in the lead. This race is pretty crazy and pretty hectic, but... We'll take you to the replays. Well, this time we see that Jason Zeclair in the number 23 car, he's gonna be the one who puts a favor on the 43 car. Same thing as what happened in caution number one to him. Now happened, well, now he causes himself. Runs into the 43 car of Betty Johnson, into the wall he goes. Uh, look at Chris Washer. Ooh, that was close. Betty Johnson, sorry. Betty Johnson and Jason Zeclair going around will get one more look, which is an onward of it with Chris Washer. Here you can see everything happening from the brand new Mercedes C-Class. Watch in front of you. Contact made. Cards go up. And great dodging by Chris Washer in 06 car. I still love this Mercedes template. Gotta say, I'm gonna be very honest with that. So, um, there was one car which I still want to play. Oh yeah, that was the uh, VIP Pet Foods um, Mercedes. That will be then. So, in the lead, we got the 72 car of John Cittadino. We will be right back with the green flag. That's, that's a great rhythm. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. The 72 car of John C. Dino is in the lead. Second, we got Denise Steiner. Our third, Anna Robinson. Fourth, Joshua Michaels. Fifth, Diana Vasquez. Sixth, we got uh, Joseph Nessa. Seventh no, is uh, Kelly Waters. Eighth, we got Sean Howell. Ninth is Bass Sinise. And in tenth position, Momo Ikari. So, look at everybody over here. It's moving all over the place. Gar guys got their lap back. Guys out of the race. I'm not sure who is. I still I have a feeling that Ingelam Lian is also out of the race. That's for sure. The 74 and the 81 car they are out of the race. The other ones are still in contention. I think. Uh, 24 car got their lap back. 18 car got her lap back. 76 car, the 85 car all got their lap back. I think. So, oh, look at Denise Steinauer. She runs r way right wide. There. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Sorry. She runs way white once again and here we got the 41 car and I'm not sure how she comes in 31st position once again probably an unscheduled pit stop let's see who is now making it for the lead because we have all left cars over here I mean how many cars are on lead lap 29 how is it possible that all those left cars are front that is, in that is incredible I, I still have no clue how that all happens uh, where, what is the position? Well, here's the battle for the lead. There we go. John Cedino and now Kelly Waters in number 69 car will move to the lead with four lap cars on her high side. Well, the thing is, I have a feeling there are more and more lap cars coming to the front. Well, actually, the lap cars are passing the lead, so that doesn't, doesn't make any sense at all. Here comes Sean Howell, and oh, and there she goes around. Kelly Waters goes around. And this might actually be already be under caution. It is. For some reason, something happened to Joshua Michaels. And that caused Sean Howell to run straight into Kelly Waters. Under caution. 
and she's well racing back. She was still the leader coming to the line, so she still gets that lead. She will be pretty pissed about that. Not sure what will happen over there. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe Sean Howell didn't see. Well, didn't realize the caution was out, and then suddenly the ninety-six or sixty-nine car released or got her foot off the throttle. So. Where are things happening, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to bake you to caution number three replay. Caution number three replays? Yeah, caution number three. Oh, caution number four replays. I'm not sure. No, caution. Uh, replays. We are back again. And, um, well, I think jo Joseph Nesto this time is going to be uh, sliding up and indeed getting into Joshua Michael. So. Um, he has turned around somebody else before in this race, so once again you will know you will notice know that we are going to take a closer look at this. So Joshua Michaels gets turned, Joseph Nessa smacks the wall. Joshua Michaels does keep it off the wall. However, he is right coming in or he's coming right in the middle of the racetrack there. He will Oh, not even hit by Bastonese. And then will be Jason Sinclair. No. No. Hmm. Oh, there comes Aileen aside. There we go. Oh, and straight into the 04 car. Just the schamschot, as we always say. Just not a very hard hit. Just slightly into him. But it does a lot of damage to Joshua Michaels. A shame for him. There he will see contact between him and Joseph and Nesto. And he will go around. Here comes Aileen aside to flying by. And boom. So, that was what the caution... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, and a Greg went around in the 18 car. Oh, we didn't see that one coming. However, what we did, which one we did see coming was that number 69 car who is there. Who was there. Oh, and then Norja Smith runs into her. Okay, so, Kelly Waters, caution is out over here. Here's caution coming out. Releases her throttle, and then I think Sean Howell just... Well, I'm not, bad judgment, I think. I'm not sure what it was, but he runs her off the racetrack. Kelly Waters in the number 69 car, and then North Smith runs into her, gives her a little push, which I don't think she will appreciate. Well, one hand. Hmm, I'm not sure. It does cause her a little bit more damage, so. Here we go. Well, he did release his, his throttle, but I'm not sure. I, this is really weird. I do want to get, get an onboard over here with. The 69 car, that was just... Well, I have not seen this happen a lot before. Here we go. Let's listen to you. Oh. It just looks like she's... Oh, slowed down a little bit more than he did. Sean Howell did. Ouch. There. So, well, the fact is that she's still in the lead. Oh, she stay with her. But Sean Howell is now in second position and Kelly Waters is in the lead with damage though. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take you back to the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with well, few la fewer less left cars. That's great. We got the 69 car in the lead of Kelly Waters. Second position is Sean Howell. And we'll see what the hell happened between them. Third, we got jo uh, John Cidino. Fourth, we got Denise Steinauer. Fifth is Andrew Ronson. Sixth, we got Momai Kari. Seventh, we got the 09 car of Diana Vasquez. Already celebrated too early. With more lap cars coming. Eighth, we got the eighth car of Ray Takeda. How is that possible? Ninth, we got the 59 car of um, E.G. Ronson. And in 10th position, we got. No way! That <laughs> Jason Sinclair is in 10th position. Well, that's how crazy this race has been. Everything is still possible. Leaders battling it out over here. While well, Battle for four, third, fourth, and and so on is heating up as well. I mean, side dives on pit road. John Cedino runs a little bit wide over here. Now we will get past. And the battle is on before the lead. The 69 car of Kelly Waters versus the 38 car of Sean Howell. And remember, Sean Howell is your most recent winner if it is about. Um, if you look at the points winning races, he was the one who won the race before the all-star race, which was indeed at Milano. Oh, ca oh, caution, I think. I'm not sure if caution is out or not. Well, yeah, caution is out, but not at that point, at least. So, once again, another caution. This ra race has been pretty crazy with all those lap cars. It's just 
nuts, I gotta say. Bob Jones, big hit for him. I think he might have had went over over here. Could be our first flip of the race. We're gonna take a look at that. Uh, leader, where's our leader? Um, somewhere. Uh, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. That's the right. What we call this? There. Oh, but we don't even. It is Momo. Oh, yeah, Momo Kari in the lead. Number three, one car. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a look at the replay. Scores number six or seven or something already. I'm proud of myself. I knew it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first flip of the race over here, and it is indeed Bob Jones. We're gonna add one to the flip counter, um, which is here. Flip. Well, we have 15 flips over here, so. There he will go around Bob Jones and he goes into the wall, flips it over on his roof, Volkswagen tumbling over side over side, a typical Gorilla Snot race um, flip, so, tumbling over multiple times, we're gonna count how many times he flipped over, and now he, well, he comes to rest on his roof, oh, car wants to tumble back on four tires again, by the way, for you V8 supercars, uh, fans, um, Bathurst 1000, I've watched the full race actually, last Sunday, it took me, well, I started in the morning at 9 o'clock, I recorded everything, then I watched till 11 or something, um, took a break of half an hour, went watching again, then I went to my girlfriend um, in the afternoon, I came back home again in the, so somewhere around 6, uh, put on TV, went watching again, I watched till 9 o'clock, I watched the full race without even uh, fast forwarding because of boring parts because that was one of the most amazing V8 supercars races I've seen. I mean, we have had everything. Cautions. We have had a kangaroo on the racetrack. Luckily, I didn't see that one because that kangaroo got hit. Um, car flipped over Lee Holdsworth. And then finally, a last lap pass because of fuel conservation. That's amazing. So... Bob Jones, back to this race, of course. We might do an endurance race. Oh, you can already see him wiggle over there. That's great to see. Sorry about this. Um, you can already see. Oh, damn. Once again. You can already see. Here he starts to wiggle. Here he starts to lose control of the car. Then he loses it a little bit more. And eventually he will slide with his side first into the wall. There. Rear first and then the front. And that's why he... Well, there's a sign turn. Well, I'm pretty sure he did that, but he just did it too early. And he steered to the right side, lost control, and he flipped over. I don't know how many times, I forgot to count. Counting. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Six and a half times, if I count correctly. I can do that, watching the roof number. So we're gonna take one more onboard look. Oh, he's already right in the, by, way wide over here. Well, look at this. Here, see him, he starts to wiggle already here and then he loses it eventually, completely. It's a difficult track, I gotta admit that. Very, very difficult track. And Bob Jones in number 52 car experienced that a few moments ago. He is the first flipper of the race. And we will go back to our leader, which is indeed this number 39, 31 car. Right in the middle of lap traffic. Momo Ikari in the lead will take you back to the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. I have bad news for you. We still have a lot, plenty of lap track here. You can see over here. 26 cars on lead lap, Sun of course is back on lead lap again, but every behind there, everybody behind there till 38 is lap down. So yeah, love lap traffic. Momai Kari in the lead, second we got Andy Robinson, third we got uh, Kelly Waters, fourth Sean Hall, fifth John C. Dino, sixth we got Denise Steinauer, seventh Ke Kevin Waters, eighth we got the three two car of Isaac Sinclair, ninth we got Ray Taka, and tenth position is Diana Vasquez. So a lot of points contenders are running up front over here. Ray Tackett out, Denise Steinauer, uh, Diana Vasquez, Andrew Robinson. And yeah, Betty Johnson, she got taken out early or in the race. Jane Pinter has some damage. Joshua Michaels has damage. I'm not even sure if he's still racing. Chris Washer fell back. Nicole Tronowicz and Anna Gregg also have had a pretty difficult race. I was close, really, really close to the wall. It was for the 31 car. Momai car with their no rear end at all on that car was still racing the rear end off of that car 
And here we got the battle for the lead. Sean Howell will move to the inside. And here goes Momo. Who's that? The nine car. I think she's a lap down. Indeed, Makoto Iguchi is a lap down in a new BMW. So, pass for the lead. It is Sean Howell now back in the lead again, but not for long. Because here comes the 94, 95 car of Andy Robinson. We still have 12 laps to go. 11 and a half now. And it is Andrew Robinson in the lead. The 41 car is still a lap down indeed. The uh, 39 car is a lap down. Oh, we might see a caution coming soon again as well. So, 95 car of Andrew Robinson trying to pull away. He has already won before this season. It was at the Race City Speedway. In Can Race City Raceway, I'm not sure what it was. At least in Canada. He won. Oh, Momo Ikari goes way wide. Oh, and contact now made with Jackie Tang. I think the 12 car also went a little too wide. And there's the 38 car. And you can see over here, what a big lead. The 95 car. Oh, but he hits the wall. And now he will have some difficulties keeping that lead. Where's Sean Howell? Sean Howell is... Oh, there's the 57 car. And this car is now charging to the front. There's Sean Howell. Watch E.G. Robinson, two Robinson now up front and they are closing in on each other and the caution is out once again. Chris Warsher this time involved and it might be the 8th car of Ray Takeda once again. We are going to end the 77 car, I'm not sure why she's so far in the back. Ooh, contact. Okay. So we're going to take a look at all of this. Another caution over here. And here is your leader, number 95 car. This will be very interesting. There will be two lap cars between uh, Andrew Robinson and E.G. Robinson. So we'll see what will all will happen after we've taken a look at the replays over here. Course number 7 or 8 or something. So ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. Let's take a look at this. This was a pretty weird accident. I'm not sure if these guys had something to do with it. Um, I don't think so. So, Well, at least it was with Zach Sasser in the 61 car and... 32 car of Isaac Sinclair. I'm not sure. Maybe he wanted to make a pit. Yeah, he wanted to make a pit stop. He dove to the inside. Boom. Somebody was there. Bad driving by Isaac Sinclair. Bad looking in the mirrors. That's something I learned when I dry learned to drive. And I have my driving exam Friday. So in about three days. So Then we see J Isaac Sinclair spinning around. I'm not sure. I don't think. No, nobody else spun around. So. That was a great save by them. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, Ray Takeda thinks, Hey, yeah, what you can do, I can do too. And there, Ray Takeda hits the wall. The 32 car doesn't even hit the wall. So, two cars spinning around. Oh, contact there. Ooh, more contact, possibly, almost there. So, Ray Takeda does, has not been her race. And I6 Sinclair. Oh, damn. There, Isaac Sinclair spinning around. Bad camera angle, sorry about this. And Ray Takeda, but I've well, pretty much seen enough of this. So There, Chris Washer joins the party again. Caution is out. Debbie Meyer still on pit road for some strange reason. We got Andrew Robinson in the number 95 car in the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take you now to the finish of this race. Well, it will be on the green, that's for sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the finale. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. We got Andrew Robinson in the lead. Second position is the 57 car of A.G. Robinson with some left cars. Here we got third position, Sean Howell. Fourth, we got Diana Vasquez. Fifth, we got the 61 car of uh, Zach Sasser. Sixth, we got the 69 of Kelly Waters. Seventh is Jocelyn van der Aert. Battled from one lap down all the way to here. That's amazing by her. 55 car is in 8th position, Kevin Waters. 9th is Jason Seclair, surprise, surprise. And in 10th position we got the 85 car of Nise van Leeuwen. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. When we cross the line now, we will have 4 more laps to go. Andrew Robinson is all the way in the lead. He's really, really far in front of everybody. Let's see if EJ Robinson can do something. We have 2 lap cars. And those left cars are going to attack Andrew Robinson. There's Denise Steinhauer. She is now lapped down. And here comes E.G. Robinson. Charging to the front. Taking it to the inside of the 95 car. And E.G. Robinson will take over the lead from her teammate. As the 9 car hits the wall. 
but saves it. And here comes E.G. Rom or Andrew Robinson back on the high side again. E.G. Robinson is completely blocked in over here by lat cars. Oh, more and more cars are coming in. Two laps to go. E.G. Robinson. Here comes Diana Vasquez in an 09 car. Does she have anything for these leaders? And or does it Kelly Waters have anything for these leaders? Four cars. These four cars. This is all for position. And it is the 09 car of Diana Vasquez who takes over the lead. But here comes the 69 car. The white flag is out. And the 69 car of Kenny Water stays over the lead. Here comes Diana Vasquez back on the outside again. No caution, so we'll finish this race under green. Di Kelly Waters in the number 69 car. Coming out of turn number 4. She is, well, great race by her. And she will pay it off with a win over here at Gorilla Snot. Oh, as cars crash over the start finish line. Sean now and Zach Sasser. Wow. That is what a crazy race over here. I gotta sell you that. My, my, my. Oh, and cars run into each other right now. It's all after the race. Maybe some guys will not be happy with each other. Here we see Sean Howell and Zach Sasser. We'll see what happened with them. Ladies and gentlemen, we're first we're going to do that as Zach Sasser runs into Chris Washer. So. Tempers flaring, well, cars running into each other, everybody a little bit pissed off because this was one hectic race. A lot of lap cars, but eventually it was the number 69 car who won the race. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a quick look at what happened coming over the start finish line with Sean Howell and Zach Sasser. <laughs> wow, they, they fought till the end. Sean Howell over here with Kevin Waters and Nisa Steinau. She was a lap down, but Kevin Waters and Sean Howell were on the lead lap. There was a battle for position. Look at Kevin Waters in number 55 car, who will drive a little bit too wide. Sean Howell, straight into Sean Howell, Kevin Waters goes. We'll go around there, the 77 car will go around as well. Into the wall goes the 55 car, into the wall goes Sean Howell, into the wall goes Denise Steinauer. There it was Zach Sasser hitting Sean Howell, Sean Howell spinning around a couple of times. And Zach Sasser comes sliding over start finish line. 38 car comes sliding over start finish line. And here we got Kevin Waters. He might have been hit as well. Not sure. Well, he... No. He just spun around a couple of times. There's Zach. We, oh, he got indeed hit by the 06 car of Chris Washer. We see the 48 car as well. Zach, Zachary Robinson, he got squeezed. Oh, he ran himself into the wall pretty much. Over there. Ah. Just got loose. And there you see start finish line and you're like, ah, oh, damn it, no. Ah, oh, hell no. Shame, shame, shame for these guys. They were so close and Sean Howell eventually, he finished this in, he finished his 17th already sold, so. I'm with him. Yeah, there's the finish line and you gotta cross that finish line first before you can say, well, I don't know, already know what, in what position I ended, so. Shame. Shame, shame for him. Should not be mad at anybody well, except for the, maybe Kevin Waters. So, weird weird race it was. A really weird race. You see official standings. We got Kelly Waters in the number 69 car. Is this her first win of the season? Got it. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, like, what a race she has had. She, at one point, she also crashed. Didn't she? Yeah, she? I think at one point she also hit the ball. And then eventually... Ah! She was run into the wall by, by Shum Howell. That is what I remember. So, And then eventually she comes back and wins this race. Amazing. Truly amazing. Diana Vasquez in second position. That is important for points as well. Because she is fourth in points. She, however, is 81 points behind Ray Takeda. And well, Ray Takeda finished 20th, so... Not too good a race for the Ray Tackler, but Diana Vasquez, great job by her. E.G. Robinson, number 57 card, the best one of Robinson. Andy Robinson eventually finished in 95th, ignored or retired, by the way. But E.G. Robinson, third position. Denise Van Leeuwen, how the hell did she finish in fourth position? Great job by her. Jason Sinclair, with a battered up race car involved in two crashes, and he still finished in fifth. Well, I think that car is pretty fast, though, with all the damage. 
Uh, Jocelyn van der Aert in de number one car. She did cause a crash. But she finished in sixth position. Her rook attack in the 08 car. She, she ran into the wall as well. Finishing in seventh. Great job by her. Uh, Andrew Robinson in the number 95 car. Finishing in eighth. Well, I think uh, he expected a little bit better. Bethany is in number 63 car, finished in ninth position. Great job by her. And Kate Scriven with a better up race car, finishing in 10th. That's great by her, by her as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, a pretty chaotic and messy race. We're going to look at all these lap cars. I mean, like, from 26th all the way to 36th is at least one lap down. Be uh, Bob Jones retired after that big crash. Joshua Michaels, Ingel Ambliana, Nick Duncan... Uh, Jordan Kulp and Daniel Voiles all retired, so bad day for Audi, for uh, Hyundai, and no, yeah, so yeah, none of those cars finished. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at your standings over here. We'll at the end of the video, you once again see your full uh, standings after the race. Ray Takeda, your points leader, finishes in 20th, not too good, but after everything she's gone to today, I think she will be. All right with that. Besides, she still has a very big points lead. As uh, 77 car of Denise Tyro finished the 31st, she is second in points, so not too good. Betty Johnson in number 43 car, she finished um, in 24th, third in points, so not good. Diana Vasquez is the one who's going to profit from this most. Actually, gotta say, Diana Vasquez and Andrew Robinson are tied with uh, for points, so. Both finished in the top 10. Great job by them. Jane Pinter, number 27 car. He has been a lap down for quite a while. Four laps down now. 20, number 27 car finished in 33rd. So not too good for him as well. Joshua Michaels did not finish. Bad race for him. 70 points. Chris Washington, the 06 car. Finished in 29th. Not too good of a race for him. 9th or 8th in points. Nicole Trenum, which is in the 70 car. We haven't spoken about her a lot. But she has been laps down for all the race. Finished in 34. Not a good race for her. And finally, last but not least, Anna Gregg was 10th in points. She still fought back to 16th position after being a lap down early. So, great job by her. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is um, your race. Um, there will be an, some interesting things happening with or after I go, come back from a holiday. On f Saturday, I will leave to the United States of America. I will be going to North Conway, just for you guys to know. It's in New Hampshire, two hours from Boston, I think. Uh, I will be going there for one week. I will be f gone from Saturday till Saturday. Uh, but then, well, I will be back only Sunday afternoon, a week later. So, Sunday the 25th or 26th or something. 26th it will be then. So, there will be no races till 26th after this race. And probably a little bit longer. What are we going to do? We're going to have a, um, well, something which I planned. I will have to see how everything works out. Um, at least we're going to do a special thing in the Phillips Cup Series. Remember, half a year ago, the Phillips Cup Series existed for two years. And I said, well, we're going to do a two-year anniversary. Um, I also reached the two, uh, 20,000 views on my YouTube channel already a month or two ago. So we're going to do something special with that. Well, I... I I will combine them. I will maybe do some more special things later, but not now. First, I will combine them. And what I'm going to do, I will get you a little bit of a look behind the scenes of the Phillips Cup Series. Not with how I do these races and comment commentate on them, but how I plan everything. How I do the uh, numbers and how I do the results eventually. How I make these races with Windows Live Movie Maker. And all that, everything that comes to look behind the scenes of doing these races and preparing these races, that's what I will show you. And then you can really see, well, what this man is doing is crazy. <laughs> it takes me a lot of work, I gotta say that. And lately I don't have a lot of time, so that's the reason why there aren't too many races. I will. St I think after you've seen all these races, you'll think, yeah, that makes make sense with everything I do. Doing, bringing you these races the best they can be so yeah takes hours of work yeah, and that is not a lie so ladies and gentlemen I will show you that also um, I'm well I've 
asked my girlfriend Sonic Course to come and visit a race for once. So, do, well, not do really doing co commentary. She'll probably. She said, when I see you do these races, I will probably just laugh. So you'll probably hear some me doing commentary and her laughing. So, but that will be fun. Um, probably will be somewhere around. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I hope. Hopefully, we can do it the next Golf Super Speedway Series race. But I'm not 100% sure. Will be at least before. Um, no, will be at least this year, somewhere in November. That's for sure. Or October at the end of October. We'll see. You'll see it happen, ladies and gentlemen. For now, I want to thank you for watching. I will see you then next time. We will go to. I remember that racetrack last season, which had was well, sort of a short, short track. Slash Speedway, which had those crazy crashes. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go to Grand Detour for Dance Masters 4 on. It will be an awesome race. I still have to do a little bit of tests. I think I, the race will be 110%. So this race was 105% uh, concerning the strength of the cars. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go to Grand Detour and then to Coca-Cola. And after that, we'll have replacement signs again. So remember to comment if you haven't already. And then, in that case, I will see you next time after the holiday. Here with the Dasker Phillips Cup Series Season 7 2014 RTL 7. Boom. A man is as young as a woman he feels. <laughs> that is complete bullshit. <laughs> that is, oh, makes no sense at all.